All right. Welcome to What About Rob? <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Everyone. I'd like to thank the Academy. Uh, <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to thank those pedophiles running your Yeah. There. Thank you, Harvey Weinstein, for everything you did for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy that like 10 years ago, like everybody's complaining, like we're not all Jews. And then it's like, all right, fine. You're all pedophiles. And I was like, maybe we're Jews. <laughs> yeah. OK, look. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's true. Hollywood, they can't catch a break, Hollywood, can no, they? they? But this can't. is Hollywood's biggest night because it's the What About Rob podcast. It is. Live at Grove 34. We've got a pretty cool setup here. Uh, Zach Amico was supposed to join us. but yeah, uh, hence the double wide couch. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he... He's dead. He had a yeah, attack. Nah. He died. Uh, he, uh, he said he does owe me one. And let's hope that we can take advantage before he dies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nice. He, he, yeah, he deserves that. Pew pew. Don't mess with the real sniper, Zach. Because I have you in my crosshairs. And all, but we do hope you're well, Zach. We, we do hope you're well. We, well. we wish you well. Uh, I'm here with Joe Gorman. What's up, dude? trusty sidekick? And Hell yeah. Came in in a pinch. <laughs> Beautiful. And uh, Wolfgang Hunter also came in at the last second. This was nice, dude. This was a wild. This was a wild. Uh, yeah. Quite frankly, a, a heart attack podcast, but it all came together. Quite right, frankly, know? we all got it together at the end. We we all came out of the end. Yeah. Really hit the half court shot on accident. It was a buzzer beater. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, it is Hollywood's biggest night. Did you guys watch the Oscars? I did not. I was too shy. You were too shy to watch the Oscars. I was like, I don't know. I can't take the intensity, dude. Of the will they, won't they? Right. Yeah. You know, dude, the women are so hot. I'll, I'll just say that. Really? I was horny for like two full days. Who's the hottest woman at the Oscars? Ryan I love Emma Stone. Gosling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hunter Schaefer. She actually is pretty hot. Uh, she went to yeah. I I saw her once when I was in Raleigh because she's from there. She was like going to. There, I think when I was in college. Like, really? Yeah. Oh. She was like, she was in the news too for like um, being like, she was like trans even back then. Gross. Um, yeah. But like back when they hit the HB2 bill and she was Gross. on the news. What's just that? Being, like, the Holly uh, hot, bitches, hot bitches. Hot bitches too. too yeah. yeah. Hot yeah. bitches too. <laughs> starring Martin Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Fucking Oppenheimer swept. Nice, uh, dude. Which was pretty dudes cool. Dudes rock. We're dudes having rock. a dudes renaissance. Finally, a good movie. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we let the broads yeah. have their turn. It's, it's boy like, time. Yeah. It's Even, like giving your little brother yeah. control. He's like, yeah, he does not know how to play the game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It back. No, sorry. Yeah. Uh, fuck Nomadland. Nobody. We don't even. We, we didn't even watch it. I'll be honest with you. Nobody <laughs> actually watched it. But we gave it to it. And we watched Barbie, but we only liked the Ken scenes. <laughs> it is so funny. Everyone was like, <laughs> he brought it. He was the best part of the movie. Yeah, yeah the guy like, stole the show. Yeah, it's like, oh, you want a fucking movie about like a, a doll? Fine, but it will show no matter what environment. Dudes will always be the coolest, most compelling aspect. There's of no such story. thing as a small role when you're a guy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like Ken's a secondary character. It's like, oh really? Oh really? Oh really? Oscar winning? Who's gonna, Ken? Let's see who's <laughs> gonna be talked about the most. Yeah. Uh, That's awesome, dude. Women can't do anything. They tried dude. to nerf it with a female director yeah. and a female writer, and what do we got? Nice, nice try, We got bitch. Ken. We got the Ken movie. Now, talk about a fucking flower growing out of a pot of dirt, dude. <laughs> all these all these things working against Ryan Gosling, but he used his fucking Y chromosome to fucking guide him. Yeah, finally, a, a win for the fellas. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was funny. People are like... And, and everyone, and why is everyone only talking about Ken, and why is yeah. he the only one nominated? It's like... Well, because he was the best part. He's the, he's the yeah. thing everyone talked about. Also, the white Ken, not the Asian Ken. Oh, yeah. You know, or, or Alan, dude. Yeah. They didn't, no way, dude. None of that beta shit. You got to be a fucking cool, handsome white man. Alan had a cool man. karate scene for whatever reason. That was, was kind of random. Was that Michael Sarah? Michael Sarah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I Incel like Ken. In it. Yeah, yeah he's funny. I, did, I don't like Simu Liu, though. That guy likes his own farts. Who's that? Mm. The Asian guy. Asian of Kinado. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten. <laughs> uh, how fucking fucked is Marvel now, dude? They've removed uh, Eternals Two is gone. They removed that. And they also removed. They also removed Kang entirely. Oh, Kang's gone. Like they removed his like title from the new Avengers. Like, oh it was no, originally gonna be called the Kang. He got canceled. Now he's canceled. Oh my god, I hate cancel culture. That's awesome. Yeah, Jonathan. Ma yeah, he. Fu wow, Shit what an all-time bag yeah. fumble from Jonathan Majors, huh? Yeah, because he's gonna be like the next like big. Marquis star. They were going to set him up to be like the whole franchise is going to be built around. Yeah. Him. I mean, I don't know. That's not like a new thing that happens to black guys, but usually it only happens when you're like a quarterback or like a really good like, defensive end. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't really happen in the arts. Although in the NFL, they're like, we looked into it. It's fine. Right. Because uh, that boy can run, you know? 
In Marvel, though, you, you, they get your ass out. Marvel's of there. got a lot of growing up to do. They really do. Yeah, more like Jonathan Miners. Dude, nice. I mean, the the most embarrassing part of that all that is the the PR recoveries that his team his team really tried to salvage that for him. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Like when he like was wearing like the newsboy cap and he like broke up like the young street fight. Yeah, like, yeah, that was great. This isn't what we should be doing. Yeah, folks. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey guys, let me spit a real. Let me let me tell you something, fellas. You know what the real fighting is in your mind, you know, (laughs) that was like it was so hilariously staged. They like filmed a video, obviously his PR people of him like breaking up a street fight of local. Well, it turns out that was the footage of Michael Jackson breaking up the fight and beat it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. They just repurposed it with AI. Yeah, yeah they just yeah. they, they yeah. fucking did a little creativity with the AI. Have the time in his calendar to make a physical appearance. They yeah. had to dub him in. <laughs> That's all, dude. Marvel movies suck now. There hasn't yeah. been a good Marvel movie in like almost a decade. Now. They got rid of Eternals too, and it's uh, and I was like, uh, what, are you, "What are you talking about, dude? Spider Man Fui was so Spider Man Fui was pretty good. freaking it's sick. Freaking yeah. Toby and freaking it had the Green Goblin. It had Doctor Octopus. It had the Black uh, Static Shock. It had fucking it had Jimmy Fox. Yeah, Static <laughs> Shock. It had fucking <laughs> that movie was just like the kind of thing you write in middle school. It was I liked it a lot, but it was yeah. definitely like oh, and then. The, the other Spider-Man I like showed up. Oh, and then yeah. Dr. Octopus is there, too. Yeah, and like, then they fight each other. Of, and then they decide yeah, to be a good of, guy. Uh, and, no. then, and, then, and then, actually, Dr. <laughs> Octopus is a nice guy now. 100%. Oh, but actually, he was bad. <laughs> no, like, they didn't even storyboard it. They just used action figures and were, like, smashing them <laughs> yeah. together. It was basically like, what if Smash Brothers was also Spider-Man? Oh, yeah. it's like, all together. Oh, they open a portal. Kind of like an endgame. They, oh, did we bring back the portals? Like, yeah. How does Spider-Man come through? That's all movies are. That's what Space Jam 2 was. That's all yeah. movies are just... Uh, all movies are just Smash Brothers. Yeah, it's literally a South Park bit. Like, you know where they, like, had Michael Bay, like, uh, in that episode for Imagination Land? And he was like... Oh, yeah, yeah. he was, like, like creating all this... Like, co- we have a big explosion. And it's like... Yeah. It's like that everybody has Michael Bay, uh, Michael Bay brain. Yeah, yeah. The, the nerds ran things, and now they're all just like, oh, and wouldn't it be cool if, uh, you know, Endgame just turned everything, yeah, into a fucking 15-year-old's wet dream. That being said, you gotta love Batman versus Superman. That is... Mm. But that is what like the last decade has been is like even in stand up is like nerds pretending to be cool. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Like it was I, when I was in Austin, like the the dogs are down there and that was fun to see. But there's also like a contingent of like cool guy comics and it's here too. Yeah, who's, who's a cool guy comic? Chris like, D'Elia. Andrew Dice Clay, uh, Andrew Nimesh. Dice Schultz, Andrew, uh, well, uh, Polly Shore. <laughs> yeah, Polly. Who else is a cool? Andrew guy Schultz, <laughs> Andrew Schultz, Drew Carey. Yeah, Drew yeah. Carey more. Um, Matt Rife. Matt, Matt, Matt Rife is a cool Joe guy. Gorman. Joe, Ro- Joe Gorman. Nice. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. <laughs> uh, Who else is a cool guy? I think that's it. I think we named them all. I think we named all the cool guys. But you know what I mean? Like, it's like just people that like I did like a a spot on Kill Tony and I'm actually kind of the coolest guy ever now. Yeah, for sure. Are you going to clip it? Oh, I didn't. I'm saying no, like means like there's comics guy. on there that do. Oh, comedy. no, yeah, I did not get on. I Why not? A, I wasted an evening sitting in a, in a basically a GameStop regional managers meeting outside of a bar. Did you try to get on? Yeah, I tried. Yeah, I was like, well, so what's it like? They just like you just like, uh, I don't know. I mean, like I, I had done the mic at the mothership the day before it mm-hmm. did really well nice. Um, nice. got some like positive feedback and you know but right. i'm an out-of-towner mm-hmm. so i was like oh maybe you know they'll because they do rig the bucket for that thing I'm, absolutely I'm tell them tell them you're my friend i'm a regular there now okay yeah I'll, I'll let them know it's very cool joe gorman my favorite comedian everybody <laughs> he is so great this next comedian is going to blow your mind but yeah like joe gorman everybody I should have just gone and saw Dune too. I ended up doing that later in the night. But like, what? Do they, they don't let you like wait in the club, right? You have to no, like wait you, in an alley. it's a fucking weird. Well, no, they moved it to the alley. They like jump around bars around Sixth Street. It's usually at a bar called Shakespeare, but they were at nice. one called Poor Choices or whatever, and they just file them all in. And there's this guy like Colton or Cole, or whatever his name is. He's this like skinny kind of like guy that does all the PA stuff, and he like runs across the street. They pre-generate it, but he comes and gets you. And sometimes people aren't even there; they don't hear their names. So he just runs back and forth, and they'll like run and grab you, and then you have to run inside the mothership. But it's weird because like you're at a separate secondary location, you're running into the mothership. They're usually pretty thorough on security when you're going through the front door, but you could just bring in a gun and kill that guy. Why if didn't you? Because they didn't call my name. I had one in my ass. It was yeah. like lodged <laughs> between my fucking butt cheeks, and I was ready to be like, "Oh, my fun fact." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, were you the guy that wore a bunch of swastikas at the creek in the cave? 
<laughs> that was an Indian guy. Did you see that? That was an Indian I, guy. I saw. That was, was it? an Indian guy. I talked to him. I want to say Sikh and, yeah. and, and pray and white power. We but, must secure I a future for all white children. <laughs> you know the thing, the swastika backwards is a peace symbol, but this ain't a backwards swastika, baby. We took that bastard Buddha's sign and turned it a little bit, and now it is a sign of white excellence. If I jiggle my belly, it looks like a Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. It's just like a pinwheel, but for did getting you, rid did of Did you see the, the guy? Dudes. I met him the last time I was there. He really? gave me like really, he was like really complimentary because I did the banana phone mic and went up as Cat Williams. No, I see. Go-to trick. He, he was like, you know what would make that a little bit better if you put swastikas <laughs> yeah. all over your body? Yeah. And yeah. I, he did give me that note and yeah. I was like. That would be funny. Nazi Cat Williams. Like, yeah. The thing they don't tell you about the protocols of the elders of Zion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so wait, wait, what happened with that? So Rebecca six like bans. It's a high number. Yeah, yeah it's a high number. Appreciate, six million. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> so the Jews, t- they took all of our money? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, so the candle lasted eight days? And eight days? Well, hold on. You no, put, that's yeah, a myth, Shannon. You, you got to put you blood on your door or your child's going to die? They're the least resilient race I've ever encountered. <laughs> and they have to be expunged from Europe. Come on, Kent. We all know that that oil lasted for eight days. That's a lie. That's a lie. I have it in my writer that you cannot tell that lie on set. And that all the Jews have to wear. You see, Hasidic guys dress like that because it's in my writer. Hasidic guys can't be on set in July without a full wool coat and hat. If Cat Williams is there. <laughs> anyway, so you met the... Uh, you met the, so, so this guy got banned from the creek for like... He took off his shirt and there's like swastikas yeah. on Yeah, the Gardini was showing me the pictures of it. It was pretty, pretty fucking cool. Really? No. So wait, what was it? Like, why? Why was it? I have no idea what show it was or what the context was. But he was on the he was on the stage and he just took his shirt off and he had he had multiple ones. They were at the correct axis for it to be the P symbol, uh, uh, so it wasn't like the tilt. Interesting. But they don't really play that kind of shit at the creek, unfortunately. Yeah. After the milkshake tossings. Uh, oh when, right. Uh, when they had Milo Yiannopoulos. Oh yeah. On. Oh, oh, you gotta like just throw them. Uh. Yeah. At a uh, big J. No, yeah. no. <laughs> that man's moved out um, west. We have to leave him alone. We, we can't be another like podcast. Praxis to uh, throw a milkshake at the Legion of Skanks. Uh, one. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. The, the poor boy has been through enough. He's had his balls nailed to a fucking piece of plywood. Damn, dude. People made up a rumor that he had sex with a retarded girl. I, I don't think it, that's a rumor. I think that actually happened, That's dude. all. Well, then he's, that's very praxis of him. Yeah. Yeah. He, he it was. It's honestly, uh, it's very communist to help out someone in need. Mm-hmm. Is it? Well, I don't like that. No, me neither. I don't like the idea. Someone I'm not needs. against that because I don't yeah. support. Zing. Comedy. What'd you say? I said so help out someone in special needs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was doing a Norman thing. Hey, hey, Mark, uh, you can't just do that kind of thing. <laughs> hey, you're the first since Mary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. So, um, so the guy had swastikas, and so, and then he got banned from the creek. It takes a lot to get banned from the creek. Yeah, there's yeah. only two people I know of that have been banned. It's that guy for doing that, and then there was a guy that like. I, he films like he was like a videographer around Austin and he's like filmed good stuff for like roast battle But he was filming like this guy named Colton special that has like a podcast of the creek and apparently uh, He just took the money and never gave or edited the special what most likely happened is an SD card blew up Which I'm told mm-hmm. happens a lot. Yeah, and he just took the money and spent it and didn't have anything and they didn't want to reshoot it so he just owes the creek thousands of dollars. Wow! Nice. Because he never returned on a, the special. Wow. Yep. Damn. Well, what owing the creek money. <laughs> That's tough. I've never heard of anyone That's owing serious, them money. Dude. You got to host a lot of open mics to get out of that. Time. I mean, people used to like fucking live there. Like yeah. it's basically a halfway house, um, or it used to be. The new one's actually very nice. Um, Do you think it's as welcoming as the New York one? I was? think it's more welcoming. Yeah. Really? I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Because there was a lady who got who got actually maybe not because I don't I only know two people who got banned in the New York one too, uh, fucking Conrad Roth. Conrad and, Roth uh, because he would do too much time between comics. Was that it really? And make people feel unsafe. Nice. I think he would just like insult like, you know, there were like eight people there for the nine thirty mic. Yeah, and he's doing like twenty minutes between each person. Oh yeah, just like and, insulting and them, insulting them, and just like oh look how stupid you are. The city <laughs> thinks he's gonna go up. Yeah, you know? and I'm sure he's just like not doing it now. That's fun. I mean, he liked me, so I liked him. Yeah, he was a fucking <laughs> awesome, funny guy. And dude. then Mike Guild got banned, but I forgot why. Mm. Um, Isn't that how it goes? Like you, you go, 
you come across a malicious sociopath, but they're like, hey, man, that was really good up there. Yeah, like, I know. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, he's he's, okay. a, he's a cool guy. He's he's a cool. Cool. I, he is some good bits because <laughs> he the likes me. I feel rumors are exaggerated. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like people don't give him a fair shake. <laughs> yeah, you know what? If you get to know him, he's Sometimes actually... Sometimes he calls people geniuses. <laughs> mm-hmm. He has a really good eye for talent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the lady used to get fucking naked on stage. That's right. She'd get completely naked, and too. she was still not banned. And she would, like, talk about how, like, CPS oh, a, stole her children. I guess if she had swastikas yeah. on, then there she'd There's a lady banned. with her tits out at uh, one of the shows I was at for South Really? Who, yeah. Was she hot? Um, no, but she's, like, the long-term partner of... I forget the guy's name, but he's that guy that, like, has, like, always the loose tie and, like, kind of, like, the loose-fitting suit. He looks like he's sweating, and he's, like... Doug Stanhope. Woo-hoo! Yeah, Doug Stanhope. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Or yeah. whatever it is that he has those like soundboard sounds that come in. Is that guy? He's like a uh, he's around. I forget what his name is, but it was like some weird avant garde act, and it's all like Texans and like film producers that are there for South by, and like mm. it's a woman like emerging from the crowd with her tits out and being like, "This guy raped me," <laughs> or something like that. What? And then like, yeah, it was like some weird. It's like fake faux altercation, and they start like making out and groping each other like on Damn, stage. Damn, dude, it'd be funny if like the industry saw that and was like, "These these guys, <laughs> let's give them, let's put them on the map." I have a new idea yeah. for a Marvel movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Austin is truly the comedy mecca. <laughs> Take my cod. We really liked when you pretended to get raped by that guy. Yeah, I will say they have the best hang I've encountered in a while like the, the creek the, yeah. yeah the hang yeah. there is like if you're not like one of the weird kill tony tards or you know <laughs> like just a, a dumb person like if you're like friends with the people that are like actually sort of funny and yeah are like you can be around them and they don't feel uncomfortable around you like it's a fun hang oh no i agree when i was when i was there for south by not bragging uh i uh yeah i just hung out the creek the whole time mm. and it was a great hang they have food trucks yeah oh shit it's there's just more space there. Yeah, and it went, feels like more of a institute, like a legit institute. Like the yeah. New York one was amazing, but it was like I got into Mitzi's, but it felt kind of like the stand. What's so Mitzi's? I, uh, it's like the service bar attached. To oh the yeah, uh-huh. named after Polly Shore's dead mom. Oh yeah. right, yeah, that racist lady. <laughs> that racist lady who stopped the comics from unionizing in the seventies. Oh yeah, yeah, what a great woman. Yeah, and then like gave us Polly Shore. Yeah, the ultimate nepo baby. Yeah. He was around. How dare you? He he succeeded on talent. Really? Yeah. Did he? Oh, it must have been my mistake. Have you seen Biodome? I did not. I actually never have. He, he's around that club a lot, too, Paul. Paulie. Yeah, Uh-oh. I saw him and Ron White kind of just pop out of corners. <laughs> What's up, Tater Salad? You want to mm-hmm. come with the whistle? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Remember that uh, Paulie Shore is dead? That documentary he made? It was like a mockumentary. Yeah. I remember when I was 11, I was like, ooh, an art film. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember it's like, damn, dude, I wonder if he's actually going to like do it. Eminem's in it. Nice. That was Polly. He made that movie because it was like, this is the last year I can actually call people to be in a movie. <laughs> this is the last possible year fucking Eminem will return my phone call. Then he had like a resurgence. <laughs> Not really. Oh. <laughs> well, good then. Yeah, dude. good. Honestly, good, dude. I liked like, his dad one. toured with Elvis. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's that cool crazy. Plot? What, what did he do for Elvis? Uh, Give him a children? Yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, King, here's a, here's a fucking 14-year-old girl. <laughs> All right, go to the local middle school and see if there's <laughs> any fresh pussy for Elvis. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. You got it, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Priscilla? I can help you with your homework if you want to meet the king. Uh Damn, dude. Do you Paul see that Paul movie, Shore's Priscilla? Dad, teach me karate. <laughs> oh, teach me. Ha! 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 Do the monkey with me. Um, <laughs> Priscilla was funny because it felt like Sofia Coppola was like, this is actually kind of a hot relationship. <laughs> I bet, dude. It was like kind of weirdly pro yeah. Elvis fucking a 13-year-old. Uh, who wouldn't be, dude? I mean, 14 like, year old. Nice. 14 year old. 14-year-old. <laughs> Sorry, let me adjust my glasses. <laughs> a 14-year-old in the in the 50s South, that's basically 52. Yeah, it's di- it, it, and it was in really Germany, was too. Different. So, you yeah. know, that's just, you know, maritime law, basically. Yeah, it's international waters. Yeah. 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 I don't understand. Yeah. Jailhouse Rock was actually a song the, about getting arrested the soundtrack, for pedophilia. I don't right. really like... Oh, well, jail, j- jailhouse uh, Juvenile Detention. <laughs> <laughs> juvenile Detention Rock. Uh, we did like a, One, two, three o'clock, 15-year-old, six-year-old. Yeah. Oh, it's like, uh, I'm just a pill. Yeah. <laughs> to be swallowed. Yeah, by yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just a pill. <laughs> Halfway House Rock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You're caught in my mouth. You're in Oxycontin. Uh, when <laughs> I did that, I <laughs> took a little quaalude for you, baby. If you hold your eye on, you can drive a Cadillac around. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what are some more Elvis <laughs> songs? Drunk driving. Uh, uh, 
Mm, we can just do Austin yeah. Butler thing. We can like you ain't nothing but a child. <laughs> What's that? You ain't nothing but a child <laughs> sucking on my dick. <laughs> you right. ain't nothing but a child. <laughs> and but you're my girlfriend now. Ha! Um, yeah. So Elvis uh, had sex with a child. I guess so. But that's cool. That's all right. Yeah, have if sex you, with a child eating. They up. got married. What do you yeah. want? They had a kid. What do you want? Hey, how are you doing? My name's Elvis Presley. I just moved to your neighborhood. I just have to come around and say <laughs> that I'm a sex offender, and I just want to let you know it's on a technicality. Uh, don't look it up, but it was for something like pissing around a playground or something. Definitely not being married to a 14 year old girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elvis, all right, you're what the Muslims do it. <laughs> all right, Elvis, you can enter the school to see your play, but you under supervised uh, supervision. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> like what if much. I, can I go during Ramadan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've converted to Islam to make this culturally acceptable. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get me if I believe in Allah, baby. <laughs> the rules are different under the Quran. Uh, Take that girl with shaved eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Take that Brooklyn, the entire borough. Uh, I. Uh, when I did that, when I posted that Figs, when me and Figs of the Elvis thing, it yeah. was just like a goofy, we just did Suspicious Minds at the goddamn Comedy Jam. And a real Elvis impersonator was in the comments who was like bitter because we got like a bunch of views. And he was like, these guys are disgracing the name of Elvis. Nice, Because they're like, they can't even sing. They don't look like Elvis. And then I clicked his profile and he's, he's clearly like a struggling Elvis yeah. impersonator. Oh, yeah. I was like, this must be how like. This is our, that's his version of like when like TikTok celebrities get spots at the stand. Yeah. Like these guys aren't even fucking, they didn't put in the fucking hours as yeah. Elvis impersonators. Dude, I did a, a and it's stitch. like, relax, I don't respect your art. <laughs> yeah, form. exactly. Like, this is not a craft I find is valuable. Yeah. When uh, don't are gay worry, for this is just a, guy a fun too, thing. They, for really, like, it also spoke they really fucking go after you, dude. Like I did yeah. a stitch the other day for, uh, like there's the Austin Butler thing for Dune. And yeah, I, like, yeah. I did like an impression of him. I, you know, I guess I like the tone was a little too high. Mm -hmm. Should have pitched it down a little bit, but the Cadence was there, yeah. But just so many gay men, like in my DM, uh, DMs and uh -huh. in the mentions, just being like, "You should kill yourself." Really? That's he the, the he Austin thought he did. Yeah, the like, Butler heads came for you, dude. They, I didn't know he had fans. I thought everybody. Oh hated yeah. Him. No, I think he's like. There's like a few celebrities like that, which is like a, a hive of gay guy, like an army of mm. gay guys. That guy Barry Coogan has one now. The guy from uh, Oh yeah, Saltburn. Did you just see that movie? I did. Yeah. What a weird fucking movie, dude. It was just the talented Mr. Ripley, but for like Zoomers but who haven't like seen gay, any movies. Yeah, but like, it's yeah. for gay guys. Perverts. It's for gay guys, or and yeah. women who like, who like weirdly want to be gay. White white women who really want to be a gay guy. That's who that yeah. movie is for. Damn. Yeah. That movie was fucking weird. Yeah. It was like all right. It was it was a little like it gave me very like you know aren't I edgy? Like, it was, like, very, like, middle schooler in a Marilyn Mont Manson, you know? As soon as I knew the guy was bisexual, I'm like, this guy's the fucking villain of the show. Yeah, was, it, never, was it supposed to be a twist that he was the villain? There's never, there's never been, like, a fucking, bi there's never been such a thing as a noble bisexual. Like, every bisexual in pop culture is doing it for, like, nefarious means. Yeah. Of, like, seducing both men and women. That's true. To some ulterior motive. There's never, like, oh, I'm bisexual, <laughs> and I'm also, like, you know, mm -hmm. A good fucking parent. It's always they're always like, I'm gonna fucking betray somebody and kill somebody, but first I'm gonna fuck a man. The Ian Fidance murders <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> it's a sixty minutes. I forgot that guy had sex with a man. Yeah, I Yikes. did. Yeah, I mean I'm just saying I'm trying to get this estate <laughs> out in the countryside of England. All we gotta do is organize a nefarious scheme and start murdering people. Hey, you don't wanna meet my parents. They died years ago. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Like I did, I did. I didn't I did mean to, to kill that. Jordan Jensen. She was my best friend. <laughs> Let me just have a little one-on-one -on -one time with the gravesite. Uh, can you believe that Jordan just fell off the top of Compound Media? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. crazy. Her career was going to new heights. <laughs> I guess I have to take all her spots. Oh, uh, now I'm just back to Benny. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have to get rid of with Jordan. <laughs> Oh. I guess I'm the star now. Ethan's asking a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> he might have to go too. <laughs> hey, Ethan, why it's don't just, you? It's the scene in the <laughs> cafe where he's on his laptop, but it's just him watching Transport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Ethan, why don't you stand under this guillotine at Gas Digital? <laughs> just check it for me. Help me clean it. <laughs> um. I'm going to pin the whole thing on a side bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> the talented Mr. Fidance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man damn dude uh but yeah uh 
Little did he know. What yeah, I you must have related to the part of just making up your entire life and then yeah, getting caught dude, in the like, middle was, of a lie. Dude, but it's like, you just got to be like, I don't know what to tell you. It's like, it's like you could have just resolved all that. Like, I, it, felt, it felt real at the time. Joe posted that he got passed at the comedy mothership and... I, and so many people were like, yeah. congratulations. And I was like, how are people still fucking falling for people, this? People like that one. People really loved it when I was head writer of SNL. Yeah, that was good. In the 2020 season. <laughs> yeah, but that was before people yeah. like were exposed to your nefarious. I saw like Loud Boys fans in your fucking mentions. Like, how would you ever believe that <laughs> Joe got passed at the mothership? Yeah, I saw a good one uh, where people were like convinced uh, Shane Gillis is starring in Quentin Tarantino's next movie. Dude, that went around. Yeah. That was, I saw that on like movie pages. Yeah, it, it was because of a blind item. I saw the blind item. I think the blind item always like we assume like, oh, it's like a legitimate thing. But you can say anything. It's because his fans are just crazy. And they and you know what? And then like clickbait news, like bad news sites are like rumor. Yeah. Shane uh-huh. Gillis. And they know it's, Hollywood it loves fan fiction. dude. Yeah, they do. Well, they just are like, OK, this will go viral if we just put Shane Gillis's name in the headline with Quentin Tarantino. I read one of the articles yeah. and it was like, it's a rumor. So I don't know if it's true. Yeah, but maybe you know it is about that. Attaching Shane to post. What? <laughs> hey, at, least I, I, <laughs> no, at least at least I know him. Yeah, you do know him. <laughs> and, I, and I and I and I put that in. Uh, all right, all right. It was a little much Shane <laughs> posting on my part. But first of all, the first one was apropos because it was about him getting fired from SNL. Second <laughs> so was yeah. the picture I took. And the third one was because uh, I saw him at the fucking Warriors game. That, yeah, was, pr- no. that was cool. That is they, 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 they the water game. stamped your image. I, I, no, I was self-conscious. Like he, I'm, I'm looking like the big – Shane himself was like, this guy's such a fucking clout chaser. I can't believe it. I was like, no, but these are all appropriate things to post. I have so little. Just give me this. Um yeah, yeah the thing. you hung out with Lamar down there in Austin. Yeah, Lamar and Sean. How they doing? Up with them. Dude, <laughs> Sean's the happiest I've ever seen. Really? really? Yeah, yeah, he was I mean, really angry and depressed out here. Well, I mean, dude, it's it's comedy is just like better there if you're in because it's mm-hmm. like it, it's 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 like arbitrary and there's still gatekeepers, but mm-hmm. at least it's like gatekeepers that like have taste. It might not be the your taste or the correct taste, but it's like they have a perspective on things. It's not just blindly following like the metrics and numbers of like what ticket sales are and like who has X amount of followers. Like um yeah, it was weird. There's Why do a lot people of constantly just try to come in here. Yeah, I don't know. It's, like, it's always dude. like Indi- it's always Indian people with like their hands behind their back just being like, oh, what is going on in here? I it smells crazy in there. Well, it is there I I love bright light. Oh my god! It's always yeah, some it was just like a middle-aged lady. Yeah, get out of here, bitch. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was like a Hillary Clinton we, ass look. We should take the gun out again and start yeah. pointing it at people when they. Where is the gun? Derek, yeah, gun? Derek took it. Derek confiscated. He took it away it? like you're a kid. Like, you, yeah, you can't, you can't play with this really? anymore. The guy, the guy, he took it away from the guy taking it on public transportation while there's a record amount of police officers <laughs> searching bags nice. on the trains. What a <laughs> dumb decision on Derek's part. I told Sam online boyfriend of the show nice the story about you bringing it in during the stop show and he's like that's the most insane thing i've ever heard oh dude I, yeah i brought it in through the window in the green room and El- eldest was like checking his phone and i was like i look like a crazy cum <laughs> right now. he had a gun so he had the fucking gun in his i hand. did the rational thing and went through the basement and snuck around <laughs> the back door <laughs> and then i just realized i still have a gun in my hand and it's in the middle of the set and there's also a camera next to the door <laughs> nice ah uh. The, the Hunter murders. But yeah, Deshaun's getting up like 15 times a week and he's very happy. Yeah, I'm the happiest I've ever been, can't you tell? Yeah. Damn, <laughs> tell should, should, should we move to Austin? No, I hate Austin. Is it the move? I think it's I don't a think shit they, city. I don't think they would like us. <laughs> oh, no. What's it like there now? Because when I was there, it was like hipstery and like Brooklyn-y. There's a lot of homeless. They should really start killing them in a Machiavellian <laughs> fascist way. Nice, mm-hmm. dude. Um, there was like a fully a homeless guy in the creek when I was hanging out and he was trying to like convince me that like number one stop by Ludacris from like Red Light District came out last year and he's like showing me the music. No, music. Austin Powers is in the video. I know. I was like, no, I was trying to explain that this, this was a man on crack that was like in the creek. He didn't have <laughs> shoes on. His fingernails were like at least a year of growth. And I like, like that nobody's I like, kicking him out. There's like three big bouncers and they're just like, no, he's cool. It's my like, autism sparked up. I was like, that is factually inaccurate. Yeah. <laughs> no, you would be correct. Yeah. A lot of autistic guys were like, oh, in Red Light District. And then he like knew a later album that it came out after Red Light District <laughs> by Ludacris. He's like, yeah, and that came out in that year. And he's still convinced that like, no, this came out last year because of the timestamp said on there like it was a re-release anniversary oh, and it's just like funny. all these autistic guys trying to reckon and reason with a man that is just gone fact check it was i and they that's were hung the up internet. on that they were hung up on that he, he was retarded not that how he had a working cell phone with service and a battery 
Yeah, how the, how did he get that? He, he charged stole it from a guy. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> he stole it. He's like, <laughs> he stole it just to show you guys the the ludicrous thing. Yeah, and then there was later in the night, a comic was like, "Hey, has anybody seen a phone?" I'm like, "Yeah, the, a homeless guy stole it." <laughs> I know your exact phone, and I know the sticker you had on it, and a homeless guy yeah. is all the way down six with nice, this. Dude. I like that he didn't. He had to fact check you and show you the video before on he, a stolen phone before he, before he fucking got it, before he took it and got rid of it. Yeah, it's like handing you your wife's uh, underwear and be like, "Hey, does this smell like pussy to you?" Yeah. <laughs> hey, we can make a clean getaway. No, but first I gotta show these young <laughs> young men what for. Uh, that's fucking great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Shit, homeless, man, they gotta start how did he get in there man. you just walk in dude i think like the the the, the security at like the creek is always kind of just so lax naturally yeah during most of the year they had to like really actually do their job during south by southwest yeah sure Because there's a lot of like you know it's this festival thing so it's badges passes and if like you're getting in you don't have a badge like you have to get let in by somebody that's like you know established in the scene um so like that was the last night and like there wasn't really any festival activity so they were just chills like a big all free for all hang mm. and the, they were just hanging out too i was like all right this is my chance to actually like hang out because those are all they're all comics too right you know? so they were just like yeah i'm just not doing my job tonight <laughs> nah, that's cool man that's fun that sounds like a better hang than i think austin's probably just better for comedy now than, he, than it was yeah i mean when i was way, there it was like nothing the way it was on. is how people described like new york like 10 years ago mm. oh my god dude wow should we go I really don't like it's time. I don't like driving. You should do trips it, out there. I love yeah. driving and shooting guns and doing burnouts in Kroger parking lots. <laughs> uh oh, dude. Uh oh. It sounds like we might have to fucking relocate, dude. All right, guys. Well, New you York guys. Dead, yeah. Dude. What we got to do is build a compound. I'm I'm now Dalton. Yeah. <laughs> Dalton of, uh, I've re embraced my roots. <laughs> we have to build, we have to invest in Ethereum. Ethereum is going to make a comeback. I know it's a pump and dump scheme, but it's going to rebrand. Now, Sir soon. Thomas Aquinas once said that the only way up south is going forward. Mm -hmm. And I have to agree. <laughs> Thomas Locke once invented the idea of the social contract and said that once the social contract is broken, there's no incentive for man to abide by the rules of God and law. <laughs> New York has broken the social contract by putting dumb hot bitches on the shows at the stands. So, yeah. <laughs> so we got to relocate and migrate, make a pilgrimage to Comedy Mecca, which is Austin, Texas. Now, I know when I stormed the Legion of Skanks stage, it didn't work out so well. But I think if I do that in the mothership, the guys that are constantly shadow boxing and doing UFC moves outside the mothership running security will understand that I'm coming from a noble place. We will do kill Tony, <laughs> but with a rose instead of a gun. <laughs> Oh, man. <sighs> yeah. Those were the days. Goated. Simpler times, dude. Yeah, I know. Simpler times. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I just don't like... Austin, I'm from California, and it, it feels very like trying to recreate California. Well, there's a lot of transplants like uh, from California. I was getting shit from some people uh, when I was driving because my rental car had California plates. Oh, yeah. They love doing that. Oh, California. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, no, I'm from New York. Much worse. Mm-hmm. Because I know I'm better than you. Yeah, I, it, Austin has like a weird like superiority complex, but also like a like a like a girl pretending to flirt. Like like he goes like stop, stop mm. it, stop. They're like, you don't want to move here. I'll tell you, you know, it's just the food's great and everyone's and yeah, a lot of great jobs, but you don't want to move here. Let me no, tell I was you getting that. that. They're like, yeah, you're having fun now because you're getting a visitor's treatment. It's like, no, I'm like friends with all the. I can jump the line if I move here. Well, the thing I is, just, it sucks. So they're always like trying to, but they also want to be like, oh. Psh. You wouldn't want to live here, you know, even though, you know, you're really smart and you'd fit in really great here. You know, they're just like, uh, yeah, it's, they want to keep the no Californians thing. But they're also like, but we also want to like, because they like imported all California. They're like, uh, it's almost like Chinatown for California. Yeah, Austin. I mean, the mothership. <laughs> there's the mother like an in and out there. The mothership yeah, really? is yeah. just a comedy okay. store. Like they built it and the layout's very similar to the store. Exactly. That's yeah. all you need, dude. They're trying to make it L. It's very like L. It's like, uh, it's like LA. Little mini ocean. LA, dude. Yeah. Well, I need go. the ocean. I love the water. You need the ocean? I don't like being landlocked. You're a nautical boy. I dude. really am. I remember like when you, every time you, We'd fly back into New York. You're like, I just got to go to the pier. Well, yeah. Get yeah, my yeah, mind yeah. right. <laughs> just to, I need to breathe in that salt water air. Well, Robbie, there's a, there's, <laughs> I need to see the whales. Yeah. Ooh. I need to see the horizon. There's a high <sighs> number of uh, redheads and pogs out in Austin. So. All right. I'm booking my flight now. Hello? <laughs> so you just need Hello? to know, uh, ticket my to travel Austin, agent, please. Dr. Faggot. <laughs> One way ticket to Austin. Please. Oh, you, Robbie, your second phone's ringing here. <laughs> <laughs> I call myself. Yeah. We're booking the trip. <laughs> Let's go to booking.com. Uh, yeah. Booking.yes. Booking.yes. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, I mean, but they were all probably there for South by, right? That's like when a lot of people just come to town. Uh, there's a lot of industry there for South by. Yeah, for sure. But it, oh. when I was there, it was such a circle jerk in a way that I did not enjoy. I liked it. People were nice to me, and even the South people, by, even the people that were like doing that thing where they're being nice and they're like, but they're actually secretly being mean, which mm-hmm. is a thing I do to people too. Mm-hmm. I could handle that when it was happening because it's just like I don't know if like as long as I'm on shows and I can go up and be like, yeah, I'm better at this thing than you. Right? Yeah, I can say so, the N word. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Joe, you do have that special talent. I do like say, I do say it quite a bit. Yeah. Dude. There's like way too much footage of me. And I got to delete it, but I don't know how. You're right. And it's like out there. You also like, don't know where. And are sometimes saying, it's like not are you even saying like, no, the most powerful word in English. I wish, language. dude. I wish it was. N O <laughs> oh, no. with the, uh, with, with, uh, it's a, but instead of Six O, letter. it's the I G G E R. I G G Y. I G G Y E G Z. I'm trying to give you an out here, man. That's what they say it in Oakland. Why? It's, yeah. That's actually how they say it in Oakland. I love, I love the like. I have to delete. It's like I can't figure out how to delete all this footage out there of me saying it. It's like here's some more to add. Here, to here, yeah, but I'll add this to the to do list. But like at least like this way some it will show up the in the deposition. algorithm. Yeah, and I just work my way back. Right. Yeah. You're like it's <laughs> like okay. Well, I definitely said on what about raw, Joe. This is a yeah. foolproof strategy. Yeah. Now, what podcast did I do before? What about Rob? Yeah. You have the perfect doubt of though being like, anytime it comes out, being like, this is an AI deep fake. Yeah. Right. I mean, that yeah. Is oh, I, I have thank to God. You know what? Let's get AI moving along. So if I ever get canceled, it was AI. Uh, they already have, like, it's already kind of easy to replicate, like, people fully clothed, like, saying whatever you need. People thought that Pope image was real. That, like, yeah. bamboozled everybody. Well, like, I mean, there was Myself even, like, uh, there was, like, even, like, footage of Barack Obama from, like, 10 years ago saying, uh-huh. like, AI is dangerous. AI is is, yeah. is uh, it, it's the biggest threat to America. And then it was like a Jordan Peele, like right? Just be like, hey, but be real. It could it could happen. And now it's like even better, right? Where it, it, it does look yeah, dude, more. Yang Gang. It looks Yang great. Yang tried to warn us about it. Yeah, uh, he did. Can we all listen to me, please? Shut up, nerd. <laughs> we football's on. Yeah. But but the robots are taking over. Everybody, come on. Is that what Yang sounds like? Kind of, yeah. yeah Have I, you heard him talk? I forgot the sweet sounds of his He voice. sounds like an Asian Kermit, kind of. Yeah, it's uh, crazy how all those guys kind of sound like Kermit. They all have, they're all like 50 degrees of Kermit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jordan Peterson, Andrew Yang, Natalie from Gas Digital. John C. Riley. John C. Riley. Yeah. <laughs> they all, Kermit is the uh, alpha and the omega Just of the intellectual sh- yeah. dark web. The shades of alpha. Yeah, 50 shades <laughs> of alpha. Yeah. Hey, did you AI generate my drum set? <laughs> That's a good John C. Riley. Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's Kermit. You just modulated. Yeah. Here's the th- yeah. Oh, come on, Howard Hughes. <laughs> Let's make a plane. I, I forget what that. Mo- I forget what he does in that movie. The but aviator. he is in it. Alec Baldwin. Everyone's the in Aviator. That. Yeah. yeah. Murderer Alec Baldwin. Yeah, dude. he's in it. He's like, I'm gonna point this gun at you, Howard Hughes. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot a woman. I'm gonna shoot a woman. <laughs> what do you think about that, Howard Hughes? <laughs> Come on, Howard. You gotta get out of sight and wipe your ass and shave your beard. You gotta stop sitting inside. PlayStation Five's not coming out for another hundred years. <laughs> I'm enjoying peeing in jars in my own shit. That's what Leo sounds like. He gets whispery. You gotta take care of yourself so you can live yeah. to Hell Divers too. Yeah. You're telling me I can't pee in these jars. He, he always gets like whispery like that. <laughs> when in his fucking, who else in the? I'm gonna Google who else in the Aviator. I think this is rich for a uh, uh, fucking uh, yeah. M- damn, who else was it? Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese did <laughs> well, direct. Here we it. go. Here we go again, Leo. <laughs> Alec, you shot another woman on set. That's not good. That's not good for us. <laughs> Uh, I knew there was someone else. Oh, Kate Beckinsale. That's she was right. so hot. She was in that. Jesus, remember how hot she was? Remember when <laughs> she was in Underworld, dude? That was her peak hotness. Remember when she Stephanie dates in younger it? men that do comedy? Yeah. Mm. Do you think she still does that? I would love it's that. It's possible, dude. That would really. I love her. I love women that look like vampires. Yeah, I'd say get lost, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm in it for the craft, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go flick your bean to my YouTube special? <laughs> and flick your bean to my yeah. N-word compilation yeah. on YouTube. And she's like, okay, this is just like a... This is just like five minute open mic sets that you've edited together to make a <laughs> half hour special. Amazing. And I'm like, yeah, enjoy it, bitch. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she'd really appreciate Dude, that. I bet she would. She would like she would like a man that actually treats her like a lady. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not like, some fucking yeah. prize to be had. Right. That's so true. Maybe. Just like, Here you go, bitch. That's what yeah. women want is just I don't to be know, called. but I think maybe she wants a prize, you know. I don't know. Mm. She definitely wants a young a young buck. She does, yeah. We're all old heads now. I'm now with you guys. I nice. tore my hand String, so I'm oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? You you played pickup and tore your <laughs> hamstring. I went pickup, 
put up like I only like got to put up one shot. It like didn't <laughs> this go. This was in Texas. Is in Texas. Yeah, you, you pulled a Tom Segura. You just immediately <laughs> injured yourself. Pretty much. Like I got two assists and like no points, and then like five turnovers, and then I was like, <laughs> we were down the by white like guy special, and we were down by like nine. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start locking down. I'm going to do the thing people that are bad at basketball do. It's like yeah. play unexplicably good defense. Yeah. So I was trying to strip Defense the ball. is all effort, yeah. <laughs> and I, I went for a loose ball, and, like, I just jumped for it. And, I, like, I dove, and I dinged it off of a guy. But then, like, I just, like, got to stand up, and I was like, I can't stand on my legs. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> I, can't stand. I just, like, got the ability to, like, walk n- sort of normal again. Oh, shit. Dude. Zero points in an injury. That's a <laughs> – that is And pick up brutal. basketball. Oh my that's god! That's like another scary thing about Austin is like they make you like work out and shit. And now I have to be a sit. It, yeah. Now I have to be a comic like that sits on the stool. You have to like pull a big stone with Joe Rogan just yeah. to just to move there. Yeah, it's like, dude, I don't want to fucking do gym class. I don't want to do like fucking burpees and shit before I go on stage. That's the thing. Well, is you know like, why? Because Austin's just full of people from parts of Texas with completely fat families, and they mm-hmm. go there to be like, I'm going to be a skinny liberal. And so they're all in good shape, you know? No, but, like, the door guys at the mothership, like, I wasn't kidding when I was doing that joke. Like, I was watching them when I was waiting for the open mic, which, by the way, is, like, their open mic is so good. I'm sure. It's, like, doing, like, just a show at yeah, the cellar. Yeah, I'm sure. But you just do three minutes. Open mics everywhere but New York and L.A. can be pretty fun. Yeah. I don't know. But, like, they can also be pretty bad, too. They, I mean... I mean, they they pack it out. Like, these people pay, like, $80 to watch, like, an open mic. Really? So they're well, like, like, if you're just a little bit good, they'll choose... We gotta open like up our own Like, the punchline is kind of like... The Sunday punchline's a little bit... It's like an open mic, kind of. For me, it was a gym. Yeah, I, I call I it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, those guys were just, like, literally just fighting each other outside the front of, like, while they were waiting to open up the show. Mm-hmm. Nice. The, the door guys were all, like, shadow boxing each other and like doing grappling stuff <laughs> you're telling me the people who moved to austin for joe rogan were shadow boxing mm-hmm. i cannot believe no that. it's just like this thing i've never been able to accept in my life of that like man you know the people that like can do the most damage and like really kill you are just like the biggest fucking homos in the world yeah. <laughs> oh because they yeah. like, can't they'll never be g-checked on like how lame it is to do that kind of stuff right in public. yeah and you, you can't, I mean, like, if I had said that to them, they would fucking kill me. Yeah, it's hard rage, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they would spurg out. Yeah, they'd They're so retarded, they get strong, so that that's their ultimate well, argument. We, we've talked about this before. It's like, is that what comedy is? Like, I just have to fight people now? I know, right? Oh, I'm man. I'm so bad at that. Yeah. Well, we're all going to be in the carnival of combat next year, though, you I guess guys. guess so, yeah. yeah. Uh, in Daytona Beach, Florida. Is that where it's happening? I don't know. I don't think they're going to do another one. <laughs> I have Maybe. The liability. I mean, all the festivals are going under. Yeah, well, yeah there's if a lot JF- of liability there. JFL's going under. I mean. Yeah, that's true. It's going to get. It's going to be back. You think so? Were people yeah. talking about that at South By? Was the industry spooked? Did you have a badge? Did you get to like go to and see anything? Or were you just mostly No, the but it was funny. Uh, Lemaire took Cam Patterson's badge. I know, that's so funny. That. <laughs> He's just going in, and everybody's like, oh, come on, hey, Cam, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's very two different looking black guys. I know, but it's like, they're not going to be Just like one's it. like a blurry, and one's like the baby. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, they, I don't know. It was a fun time. I, I had a good time. I was definitely like, I had to like peel off sometimes. Like definitely when like the, the Matisse thing, I didn't, I, I don't want to feel, I hate feeling like a hanger on. I know, yeah. And I would just like, I mean, they're like, so, like I've known Lemare since like before Shane, not third grade, but he was like in his mid twenties. He used to like come to Raleigh to do shows and like sleep on my couch. Nice. nice. Then but, what happened? Um, I fucked him on my couch. Did you really? The friendship was changed forever. Mm-hmm. I bet, dude, because he fell in love. Is he a gentle mm-hmm. lover? I'm not. Oh yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Is it tough to be a bottom and a rough lover? <laughs> You're a power bottom. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, you know, I'm so strong. I'll make you fuck me. Nice. It's true. Pulling pulling the penis into your asshole like a black hole. Yeah, I have a tractor beam. Nice. I have a Michelle tractor you beam. Got him, you got it locked in. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm constantly locked in. I've locked yeah. in. Is syndrome. that from pickup too? Jesus. Oh, yeah, that's from diving for the ball. Damn, oh dude. God, you really give dude. 110%. Damn, when dude. you're a white boy on the court, it is all mm. about hustle. The yeah, same in comedy. That is so <laughs> it's true. It's just like you got to hustle. And dude. high IQ playmaking. I was very intelligent out there. Yeah, you were smart out there. That's I was very intelligent. <laughs> High nice. IQ, charismatic, you know. <laughs> Setting picks, first, taking advantage of the mismatches. First in the locker room, last to <laughs> There's leave. one guy, though, that was like the one guy <laughs> that was like tall. It was a white guy that was just 6'8". Uh-oh. And he was just coming to the paint, dunking the ball. It's oh, so man. A tall white guy. <laughs> yeah. It was so bad. Was he Eastern European? Nah, he's like Spanish, I think. His name was like Pedro. These Europeans, they come in, they're like, I am seven foot. Get out of here, black people. I will be dunking. <laughs> Be prepared for the worst shot form you've ever seen. <laughs> Get prepared. I will, I will shoot the ball like the end of a, at the end of a ballet. 
I have to do <laughs> a Cirque du Soleil performance before the ball goes into the net. Somehow, even when I ball out, it looks kind of gay. I made I'm, one of the most masculine activities look like something your mother would like. What an intelligent play. He's capitalizing on the homophobia of all the black players <laughs> by dribbling the ball with his ass. <laughs> he's shaking his he's ass. Going, he's gripped the ball with his ass, and he is doing a 360 dunk with his ass, folks. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I have not seen a play this intelligent, this high IQ in all of NBA history. Beep. Oh, that's a technical foul. He grabbed the other. He grabbed on the other guy's lower back. The ref's calling pause. There's a pause on the play. We're going to have to pause. review that. All right, we're going to review that. After further review, we've determined that is gay, Your Honor. That is sus. Adam Silver just comes out like, the NBA is not a homophobic league. Do you, <laughs> do you think it's better to live in New York and visit Austin, or would you rather move to Austin and visit New York? Listen, the wife is here. Yeah. Right. We're staying here. Second wife is here. Mm-hmm. Second wife. Damn. Second bottom. The only bottom. First top, me. actually. No, First dude. top. No, I'm second dude. bottom. No. Nah. Unfortunately, that's big cap, as uh, the guys that play basketball say. Nice. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I would visit. I yeah. would visit. Living there, m- moving in general is just a pain in the ass. Yeah. But I, I'm also scared of, like, yeah, if I, like, live there with just the people that help me out when I'm there, like, they can't possibly be, like, willing to do that every no, week. No, and, you no. Know, you kind of, you, you, you have to. Yeah, you got to start finding your own yeah. way. Of it that always happens when over. you're in town. People put you up and help you out, and then yeah. you move there, and it's like there's another guy there. But maybe with a little seed money, we could start another Grove Thirty Four in Austin because there's a big lacking of alt comedy there. Really? Really? I mean, Casey Rocket is maybe the only guy I've seen doing alt, and that's the thing is that Egot books. He used to book the store, I guess, but now he books uh, Mothership, and like he'll watch you do like you can do really good like edgy like gillis mullen type comedy and he's fine like he's like i'm oh, sure he enjoys it but really like he good. the thing i keep hearing is that like he really is kind of burnt out on having to watch that all the time mm-hmm. yeah. so if you can come with something that's like just different, a little different yeah what is different that's the question i don't know i'm kind mm-hmm. of like a fucking road hack so i really don't Uh-oh. know What's up with this? What's up with that? Yeah. Wait, what is it? Di- like, yeah, like a, like a fucking like a Joe Para kind of thing, like something a little nerdier. Yeah. If you just talk like Michael Shannon up there and you're like, well, I was at the grocery <laughs> store getting <laughs> eggs today. And, uh, I saw a non-binary person. And- I love the grocery store. Yeah. Don't you? I want to shop for some melons. I guess yeah. that's just Sean Gardini. <laughs> he's doing a good job there. Nice, dude. Well, Shout he's making him. it. Dude. Yeah, he is. He really is. Maybe, and maybe, we're all going to make it, right? Maybe guys? I'm going to move to Chicago and start a new life there. Oh, yeah? At the real second city. Mm-hmm. And when I went to yeah. Chicago, I, I think it's time. Nick moved to Chicago. He's actually having a great time. Really? Mr. Oda Shaw. Mr. Oda Shaw. What's that? I'm going to hit him up, dude. Yeah, you should. Uh, gonna, it's a, that's another we'll, good uh, city to visit. I mean, Midwest yeah. crowds are goaded. Yeah. Yeah. I judge Roche Battle at the Lincoln Lodge, our old. Our old uh, Lincoln stomping Lodge. grounds. Oh, you almost said Rinkin Raj. Rinkin Raj. Rinkin Raj. Oh, Rinkin Raj. I love a Rinkin Raj. I loved a Rinkin Raj. That place rules. Dude, Abraham so Rinkin, interests. please let me. I don't want to walk on the railroad no more. <laughs> no, no, we can only free one one race at a time, <laughs> Chinese people. We're working on blacks right now. Soon, four score and <laughs> seven years. In, a, in about four score and yeah. seven more years, you can stop working on the railroad. Oh, Remind me of four score and seven Okay, years. Mr. Rinkin. I go to the lot. I go to the Raj. <laughs> An important thing to remember, guys, is that this episode is 100% AI generated. So anything that you see, absolutely, here, yeah, Pete yeah. is not liable towards us. Well, Joe is a quarter yeah. Japanese, so I'm allowed to do that accent. Yeah, it's totally okay. But, yeah, it's maybe completely... with the, maybe with a little seed money, we <laughs> yeah. can open uh, another Grove 34. Yeah. Where's in Texas? A seeds will and make. By a... we, I mean the people that own it. We have no ownership in the Yeah, yeah. I, lo- I love how Wolfgang, you <laughs> you inserted yourself into the investors of the club. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the equivalent of a homeless guy <laughs> that just kind of pops in out of the basement and be like, oh, "Stop on stage right now!" <laughs> yeah. You steal Joe's phone. Like, look, look how much, look how great Austin is, everybody. Grove Thirty Four Southwest. Yo, there we go. Nice. What about Bohemian Grove Thirty Four? There we go. Ooh. And we become all we all become pedophiles. And then we find. Finally make it. <laughs> we somehow finally get like the best connections in New York. It finally City. happens, dude. We yeah. should open it up at Epstein's townhouse. Yeah, Bohemian we... Grove 34. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sacrificed Derek to the to the god, to the demon gods, and now our careers are so fruitful and bountiful. We just had to do a blood sacrifice. He definitely seems the most full of adrenochrome of, of, of nice. everybody. Involved. Yeah, we, that's what we do. We just get a quinceanera to like uh, capture a virgin. So we just yeah. like we have them book a quinceanera here, and we just steal her. <laughs> 
<laughs> and we sell it at Grove 30, or Bohemian Grove. Bohemian Grove 34. Bohemian Grove 34. <laughs> Oh man, that sounds great, you guys! I'm really excited about this new venture that we're that we're doing here. <laughs> it's finally, dude, our ticket out of this. There hasn't been a good pedophile ring in a while, you know. It's uh, been a while since Pizzagate. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been too long. Yeah, we should a, we should open up a Honestly, comedy club at Comet yeah. Ping Pong. Because I, I had a pretty fucking good week, caught a lot of dubs. I need like a demonic sacrifice so the L's don't come back. Uh, Ooh, you gotta keep the momentum going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. You gotta keep the ball rolling. That's great, man. Yeah, you seem a lot happier, dude. I mean, I just like getting. I everybody needs to get out of the city once in a while. I agree. Dude. Yeah, I mean, this place makes you crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing a few shows in Boston, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, it's like two. Dude. There's just so much hustle here. I went getting fucking, out of New York and frankly, yeah. bustle. I went. Yeah, <laughs> some bustle. Yeah. I feel like uh, it's getting out of New York is good, and it also helps you appreciate coming back to New York. I agree. When last time I was in San Francisco, I was like mm. considering moving back home. So I lived in the city for like a week. I just like, you know, it, it kind of as great as it was. It kind of was like, eh, I like New York more. Yeah, I'm, I, it, you, you remember things you like about the city. I don't city. know. I'll, I'll fully move eventually one day. But I where? Still, there, where? I don't know. Just a place where I can get a house and like have a gun. And where can Austin, you do that? Texas. You're moving to Austin then, dude. Congratulations. Wolfgang's moving to Austin. You're Wolfgang's here. Wolfgang's the show. Here first, everybody. No. I Big mean, I don't know. Just like at some point when I'm like, I plan on having like kids at some point. Why? Because I want to. In, instead of comedy? No, I feel like it, I want to get at a place where I can like have a stable comedy career and then like start thinking about those things. And that's the thing is that like I haven't found stability yet, so that's why I'm still like, you know, I'm still seeing like what we do with this, like what I can do with like some of the clubs here, you know. Right. Do you think you could move to New Jersey? That would give you like the ability to have a house. Honestly, I would move to Philly to have a yeah. house so I can get to New York quicker. Not as quick as New Jersey, but like. I wouldn't say the scene's necessarily better there, but, like, the crowds are really good. Like, if you do, like, Next In Line or, like... Yeah. I have old connections at Helium, probably. I could, like, maybe find my way back into, like, working, like, some shows there. Damn. I don't know. Just something like that. I, I don't know. I, I get scared when you ask earnest questions. Why? Though. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's... There's something <laughs> hollow the, behind what's it. The, there's what's something the, that's, like, you. I don't think you actually care about the answer. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you, do you, is it, like, a... Do you think this, like, a, what, a five-year... 10 year timeline i'm stopping this <laughs> line of questioning <laughs> scary, huh? stop. no it's not i'm worried if all. you get in at helium it might inflate your ego oh <laughs> yeah how many well, i hear there's a helium shortage around the world oh really yeah there is no there's a, but there's one in philly there's one in oregon yeah but the mine where we get it from we mine it from africa we mine all the clubs from there oh and really then we transplant them into america yeah is that true yeah there is like a finite amount of helium is that I've, true I've, I've i've heard it from a meme really i did yeah. damn that's i never thought about where helium came what the fuck is helium it's what a, the it, hell is i do it? think it is mined and i think there's a finite amount really and i think we're running out of it fuck yeah. and it's the thing is like people keep using it for like hot air balloons and <laughs> yeah, gender the reveals. Shit. What the and hell? it's like you know what it also is used for to help make MRI machines run. Really? Yeah, it's used as a coolant. Because but we'll it's find like, a way to fucking... Damn, dude. The Cleveland balloon fiasco is just even worse than ever now. Do you know about that? They, the city of Cleveland was like, fuck, no one gives a fuck about Cleveland. So they were like, here's what we'll do. We'll unleash like a, a, a 2,000 balloons all over the city. Mm. And, and it completely went... It all, they all went into like the river and then like people died. Yeah, I'm sure like ducks got into it. It fucked up the environment. It literally like killed people. Yeah. So it's like it's called like the Cleveland balloon fiasco. That's awesome. That is fun. Which Cleveland I hate. has a... They also, they had the, that time where their river lit on fire because there's so much petroleum in it. Oh my God. Yeah, that dude. place really is just a fucking dump. Oh, I was reading this great Reddit thread of like, what are the most overrated places to visit in the country? Or in, in like most overrated destinations. Niagara Falls was all the way up there. Right. Gaza Strip. Cairo. Apparently everyone gets like raped in Cairo or really? groped. Like everybody. Nice. Dude, they just said a mummy did it. <laughs> <laughs> were, I was like, I got raped. I got fucking. It's like, ah, you shouldn't have fucking disturbed the sarcophagus. Grope like an Egyptian. Yeah. Uh, yeah, apparently there's like trash all over the pyramids. Like they don't give a fuck about ah, that's them. that's so fucking funny. Like there's a pizza hut right next to the py- pyramids. Like apparently the pyramids are awesome. There's but, a lot like, of scam artists too that'll like try to take your picture and then they'll like charge you like a bunch of money nice. for it. Yeah, people said I was just there people were trying to scam them left and right like uh, Yeah, dude, it's Egypt. Yeah, it sounds like a shithole. Not not you know, not cuz it's in Egypt, but because not, like not they, just, they just don't, I mean, what is this just what because is this of all Sahara, those brown Yeah, I know. Look, as a, as a guy from Afghanistan, don't uh, don't I mean, a, a desert is just one big litter box. I'm scared of that shit. Like yeah. those like mummies and shit, dude. I know. Damn, dude, it, like it, 
You it get, ruined Brendan Fraser's face. You get separated from your fucking group in the oh, yeah. in the pyramid. Uh-huh. Good luck. Oh wow. That is probably a scary place to be without your tour guide. Yeah, dude. You don't have any reception. Oh. All of a sudden you're like, hey, is that Robbie? Is that you? And all of a sudden, <laughs> things <laughs> crumble <laughs> from the ceiling. Robbie! <laughs> Scoob, we gotta get out of Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby and Shaggy go to the third world. Yeah. Uh, There's a mummy doing Adam Sandler impressions. <laughs> shabba hoo, shabba hoo. Uh, and uh, the other one was uh, Butt Montana. Of course, dude. Apparently, like one of their biggest tourist attractions, they're like, we have a lake of acid. It killed a bunch of geese back in the day. Butt Montana. Oh, sorry, yeah, they were like, they were like, I expected nothing, and I was still disappointed when I went there. You, you go there for a fucking. Montana like, has a lot poster. of like gay coded cowboy names for yeah. cities. That and by that I can only think of one other example. What's the other one? Jackson Hole. Oh yeah. Don't forget a uh, gaping asshole ridge. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. right. That's right. Yeah, and then there's that one place that has <laughs> and, the and, uh, oh yeah, and groom filled. There's or, that uh, one place that has the N word in the name of it. Yeah. If you want to say it for the the N word. <laughs> <laughs> N-word falls. N-word falls. Somebody on the... <laughs> I don't know. If the, the Derek's not here to like right. remember this. What's but. that? Oh, right. 55? Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's let's wrap. Uh, so Okay. Yeah. Let's wrap oh, it no, up. No, you, you go. We have five minutes. Okay. This, the, the one thing is that I just remember like back when like uh, Come Town was doing like the tour of Australia, a fan made like a route that they should take and they just found like 12 different... Like I still have the photo saved. I'll show it to you guys like yeah. after, but just... So many towns and places in Australia just have literally the N word in the name. And there's like a slur, <laughs> like hard R. Nice. Like, oh man. Like it's different dude, out there. This not a slur. It's not a slur if you can't pronounce your O's. Yeah, if you can't pronounce your O's, it's nar. just nar. 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 See, I was I was talking that black guy. I was being. Uh, Blink me. Look at that nar over there. Yeah, if you can't enunciate your O's, you know it's yeah. not really a slur, is it? Anyway, I'm gonna swim with that jellyfish. Or whatever. What Stingray. Stingray. <laughs> that was tight. How delicious is his daughter getting now? Little Brandy Irwin. Who is she? Oh yeah, dude. Ooh. Nice dude. I got I got a little fucking python you can handle, sweetheart. Really? Yeah, dude. Oh, now right. that your dad's not here to protect you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he was dude. the one guy in your way. Yeah, the one guy for, fucking for all those years. I read something that now she I just dates. have to sit back and wait for her to turn eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I think she dates Tony Hawk's son. Uh, no, uh, no th- they're, they're, that's um, Francis Bean Cobain. Cobain yeah, the other She's track. Married, oh, yeah. Uh, Kirk yeah. Kirk I would Benzo. like to flick yeah, I just her wanted to test how Ho-Cobain. pedophile uh, nice. adjacent you guys are, how much you know about underage girls. I know a lot. Yeah. Mod Apatow. I, I, I still yeah, have awesome. like those little countdowns for when like child stars turn 18. Yeah, which they, which the, yeah. they did for Mary Kay Nash. They had it for Mary Kay Nash, they had it for Hillary Duff, and they had it for Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, the early aughts was truly the most the, dudes the, rock the horny. Hair. <laughs> like the peak horn. Well, you could be horny on the internet and you couldn't get it traced back to your actual name. Yeah. That was like, I'm fucking, you know, Dark Phantom 77. Yeah. And I know exactly when Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen can be legally fucked. I think about how crazy it is that like, Girls Gone Wild existed. Oh, yeah. It was just like a guy took like a camcorder and was like, hey, we're Girls Gone Wild. And they're like, all right. And they just showed tits. And then they would just Like sell on the it. street. Remember, that was like when uh, Comedy Central would no. flip when you it guys, got late. Oh, you guys when you heard like, those yeah. steel drums. Yeah. <laughs> You've lived in a college town, though. You went to Emerson. You know, like a college girl's on like a drunk, like, strip where all the bars are they really are just like whipping their tits they out. love it dude they like I've my girlfriend so used to do that all the bodies. time she has so many like f- photos in her camera of when she took her tits out in like public places in college i don't i feel like i don't see it that much. i've only seen it in new orleans really for the beads mm. no nah, it's i've seen it like definitely new orleans is the capital for that that's yeah. like if you're trying to see it full <laughs> well, i got a great idea what if we all promise them some beads and then we'll show our tits. we're gonna give them a little luck on some beads now how, 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 how about some red beans that tick down that off no, that top off let me now. tell you right, right now we'll show we'll see some titties we'll just give them some fucking beans <laughs> <laughs> red beans and rice <laughs> Yes, so I'm on the street now. Oh, I'm in station. <laughs> They're going to take out the tit now. Put them in my mouth. Let me Doug suck Stanhope on. used to do the Girls Gone Wild. Re- oh, yeah. Ever yeah, since like, Katrina. Show us where the babies feed. Yeah. And then like they fucking show their titties. <laughs> See, what a great time. You could was, scream that and look yeah. like Doug Stanhope. They're like, I guess I'll show my tits because there's a camera here. Peak, peak comedy was when Doug Stanhope had Girls Gone Wild. 
and when uh, Dave Attell hosted the uh, oh, adult yeah. video. Insomniac. Oh, or Dave's old porn. Well, that too, but yeah. Those, yeah, I guys mean, were Insomniac like militantly awesome. horny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because like internet porn just wasn't at the level it is now where they, they, it, it was it like, you could, you could get like a little clip or a, a, a picture, but. Yeah, you have to go on LimeWire. Well, now yeah. the same stuff happens. It just goes down in the DMs and it's been outsourced yeah. to India. Yeah. No, yeah, but I think that era is coming back because of the DMs. Uh, it all goes down. Uh, <laughs> down that's all coming back with Sydney Sweeney's boobs. She's bringing that era back, and the, we'll have more to say about that. Great! I can't wait for another <laughs> era of women with tits and no ass. Can't wait. I actually it. can't wait. That's gonna be sick. Boobs are making uh, a big comeback. Dude, it's conservative America taking over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wokeness is over, everybody. Uh, do you guys have anything to plug? My asshole. Yeah, butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Joe W. Gorman. And my podcast I do with Matt Marin, The Buff Boys, available wherever podcasts are distributed. We talk about wrestling. We yeah. talk about all kinds of wrestling and all kinds <laughs> of fun stuff. We talk about a lot of different subjects. Yeah. Do you know I used to be a pro wrestler? Do you know I used to fucking wrestle? <laughs> Check out Buff Boys if you want to get this impression. Well, yeah. <laughs> or not. <laughs> or not. It's okay. Well, you guys that, know, you know that's away. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to check out his podcast now. It literally sounds like the best freaking thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it's like hosted by Tooley. Sounds like it's Tooley right on my alley. Oh, all right. Anyway, I got to go post video of me doing quenches. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Love you, Matt. <laughs> <laughs>